Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am very lucky to be reading my books down at the bookshop slash coffee shop called Salty Reads. And there are books and books and books and books and I wish I could buy them all. I am going to read Oi Cat. This book is written by Kez Gray and illustrated by Jim Field. Let's see what the blurb has to say. Um, according to Frog, cats sit on gnats, dogs sit on logs, armadillos sit on pillows, and chicks sit on bricks. Uh, but Cat doesn't like sitting on gnats. They keep biting his bottom. Will Frog help? Can Dog help? What else could Cat possibly sit on? Oh, I'm very curious. What do you think? Cat and gnat. I know that's going to be a rhyming word. Cat sits on what? Mm, let's see. Yeah, he's not liking sitting on those gnats, making him itchy. Oi, cat, step away from the gnat, said the frog. But I hate gnats, said the cat. Gnats are all nasty and grib and nibbly and they keep biting me on the bottom. The frog doesn't like that he's killing the gnats. Maybe frog likes to eat the gnats, I don't know. Why do you keep sitting on them then, asked the dog. Why don't you sit on a mat instead? Oh, that's a good one, mat, cat. Because the frogs changed the rules, sighed the cat. Remember? That's right, smiled the frog. I've changed the rules. Dogs used to sit on frogs, but now they sit on logs. And cats used to sit on mats, but now they sit on gnats. Oh, no. Why does frog get to change the rules? It's a shame you're not a pony, said the dog. If you were a pony, you could sit on some macaroni. Just my luck, sighed the cat. Will you stop talking about my bottom, said the cat. My bottom is none of your business. Macaroni won't nibble your bottom, said the dog. If you were a chick, you could sit on a brick, smiled the frog. If you were a vole, you could sit on a bowl. If you were a leech, you could sit on a peach. If you were a duck, you could sit on a truck. Well, I'm not a chick, am I, frowned the cat, or a vole, or a leech, or a duck. You're a cat, said the frog. On a gnat, smiled the frog. And rules are rules. If you wore, if you were an alpaca, you could sit on a cream cracker, said the dog. If you were a mink, you could sit on a sink. If you were an armadillo, you could sit on a pillow, a lovely, soft, comfy pillow. If you were a lark, you could sit on a shark, said the frog. Unbelievable, said the cat. If you were a shrimp, you could sit on a chimp, said the dog. If you were a bunny, you could sit on some honey. If you were a pheasant, you could sit on a present. If you were a troll, you could sit on a doll. Whatever he sits on, it has to rhyme with cat, said the frog. Can you think of some rhyming words? What could he sit on? Perhaps you could sit on a bat, said the dog. Instead of a mat or a gnat, you could sit on a cricket bat or a baseball hat or a softball bat. Bats sit on bats, said the frog. <laughs> Not coming up with very many solutions, are they? What if you were a kitty instead of a cat, said the dog. If you were a kitty, you could sit on something pretty, like a pretty flamingo or some sparkly bows or some lovely colourful streamers. Dingoes sit on flamingos. Crows sit on bows. And lemurs sit on streamers, said the frog. How about a mog, said the dog. If you were a mog, you could sit on a dog or a cog. Hogs sit on clogs, said the frog. 
and cogs when there's a shortage of clogs. Wait a minute, smiled the cat. If I were a mog, I could sit on a... Wait for it, wait for it. Step away from the frog, frowned the frowned the frog. Yes, no one can sit on a frog, nodded the dog. It has to be something that rhymes with frog or mog or clog or cog. Hmm, said the cat. What else rhymes with mog, frog, dog and cog? Let me think. Can you think of something? Let's see, let's see. Dog, said the dog. Dog rhymes with frog, mog, clog and cog. So it does, smiled the cat. So it does, clapped the frog. Oh, I wish I hadn't said that, said the dog. Ah, he did. He sat on the dog. Oh, boy. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. And what a magical place to read a book for book week. This is the beautiful shop where I get to come every day and look at books and drink my coffee. Thank you for joining me and don't forget to click and subscribe. I'll read to you again soon. Bye for now.